A very good day to you people. My name is Mohit and today I'll show you how to make a very easy yet very effective picture gallery. Guys, this is a time picture gallery. It advances to the next uh, slide or the next, next picture after three seconds and uh, once it reaches the last picture it loops back to the very first picture. Not only that, it also makes uh, sure that uh, when you mouse over any of these three pictures the slideshow freezes and when you take the mouse off or when the mouse leaves the stage stage is the area guys where uh, I've placed all the pictures the flash stage is the arena where all the action takes place so when you mouse off or when you take the mouse away from the stage it should resume playing the movie should resume playing before I actually start uh, constructing and constructing once again I'm gonna destroy it and I'm gonna construct it once again and uh, I'm also gonna explain the script I'm gonna I'm not gonna type the script because th that may take some time I'm gonna explain the action script to you before I actually do that let me show you a published preview of how it's actually done I'm gonna press control enter on the keyboard guys and notice what happens the movie starts to play this is the third slide goes back to the first slides lo loops back to the first slide the second slide this is the third slide guys guys I do conduct online training for people who cannot uh, meet me face to face uh, I do conduct a course in Dreamweaver Flash and Fireworks CS5 5.5 and I do cover Flash and Action Script 3 extensively the course duration is three months and the weekly commitment is six hours I've, I have a past record of training many guys uh, around the globe anyways coming back to this tutorial so it, it increments to the next uh, photo slide or, or the slide of the picture after three seconds when I mouse over it stops when I mouse out it resumes playing again okay let me also show you how things work on the timeline. On the timeline guys, I placed three pictures and next to the three pictures I have placed an empty blank frame. This was necessary guys. If this wasn't there, the script wasn't firing off properly. The moment it would reach the third picture, it would immediately loop back to the first picture. The third picture wouldn't show at all. So to overcome this problem, I had to, had to create a fourth blank frame and uh, this is my actions panel guys the first function is a timer function the second function is a mouse move function which detects the movement of the mouse on the stage basically it understands that the mouse is moving on the stage uh, it also means that the mouse is on the stage the third function is the mouse leave function guys and the mouse leave function will detect has the mouse pointer left the stage and if it has it does something I'll explain the script to you but first let me destroy this slideshow and reconstruct it so I'm gonna let me get rid of the pictures layer completely okay then let me add uh, a new layer call it pictures again let me ensure that the first frame is selected I'm gonna say a file import import a stage and uh, guys I'm using three pictures pick one pick two and pick three I'm gonna select the first picture I'm gonna say open flash CS 5.5 is asking me it says this file appears to be a part of a sequence of images obviously because the three pictures that I'm using are pick one pick two and pick three do you want to import all of the images in this sequence? Yes, I do. And then it says it's going to import all the images, all the three images, as a single flattened bitmap. That's okay. I'll say okay. Uh, it says that uh, the library items already exist. So I'll say replace the existing library items and say okay the library items existed guys because although I deleted the pictures they still stay in the library 
anyways now guys as you see I have two layers the first one is the pictures layer the second one is the actions layer okay I'm not gonna add the, I'm not going to add the fourth blank frame right now because I'll show you if I don't add it what happens and when I do add it what happens okay let me get back to the script the action script so that I can actually explain it guys starting line number one ending line number 15 we have the timer function in fact it actually starts from line number three where a variable my timer of the type timer is equal to new timer and in brackets 3000 milliseconds that's the time after which it will fire off guys this is how you actually instantiate a new instance of a timer this is called instantiating a timer and then you need to add an event listener to that timer so that event listener says that uh, the is, is a timer event okay and uh, it will fire off the function the name of the function is fire off the function fire off will happen after every 3000 milliseconds or 3 seconds and uh, once the function fires off it will take the playhead to the next frame okay so it will wait for 3 seconds to happen and then it will fire off in line number 1 guys notice that I put the stop function it will not allow the playhead to go in a frenzy from the first to the second second to the third frame it will first read the script it will stay there the script will halt on the very first frame it will read the timer function and inside the function when 3 seconds elapse the function will allow flash playhead to move on to the next frame via line number 8 and then it will detect if current frame is equal to is equal to total frame this is an if conditional guys this is how you actually construct or write a if conditional the if conditional uh, tries to find out if the current frame is equal to is equal to total frames and this happens only on the third frame of the third picture and once this happens I want my timer to stop and then go to and play frame number one and why do I want my timer to start because as soon as it, it reaches uh, frame number one the timer will start again so I don't want my timer to restart again and again that will cause a mayhem okay that will be bad the script will go wrong it will not work properly so I want my timer to stop on the third frame and then it will start again uh, then I have two more functions the other function is the mouse move functions which executes the function go and the go function will stop the timer so this will freeze the photo slideshow and we have yet another function is called the mouse leave function guys the uh, mouse leave function will detect when the mouse leaves the stage and the moment it does that I want my timer to start again so the effect will be that the the photo slideshow will stop on the very first uh, you know it will stop when the mouse when we mouse over and resumes when we mouse out so it freezes and then resumes uh, playing again so after every three seconds the playhead starts moving to the next frame via the timer function where it says in line number eight next frame parent parent and guys uh, notice when it reaches the third frame via this uh, if conditional it will take it back to the to the very first frame the, but the problem here is the moment it reaches the third frame it does not allow us to see it for the thir three seconds the moment it reaches that it immediately skips back to the the very first frame and the effect is that we don't see the third frame at all let me first show it to you in my published preview then you'll understand okay so a control enter the first picture this is the second picture guys it goes to the third picture but it immediately goes back to the first picture you don't even get to see the third picture so there is an aberration here there's a small problem here and how do I work on that it's very very simple guys all I need to do is just add a fourth blank frame so I'm going, going to go to the pictures there I'm going to right click and say insert blank frame okay and then I'm going to test the movie once again I'm going to say control enter so this is the first picture three seconds second picture three seconds third picture this is the, uh, the first time it actually showed up guys and back to the first picture so just by adding one single blank frame the trick works guys I'll, I use the mouse leave function to ensure that uh, the flash stage detects that the mouse is no longer on the stage it resumes playing and when it sees a flash understands that the mouse is moving on the stage that 
the time happens only when the mouse is over the stage so when the mouse is over the stage stop it it leaves the stage resume it guys this script will be available on my website http colon forward slash forward slash adobe cs5 dot in on the very first page guys i'm going to highlight it and you should be able to download it very easily uh, if you actually like the tutorial please rate it comment on it subscribe to me so that uh, i can uh, show you many many uh, useful tutorials in future too guys um, I guess then I'll see you next time with yet another flash oblique action script 3 tutorial. It may even be Dreamweaver CS5 5.5 or Fireworks as well. You do take uh, very good care of yourself. Bye bye.